Okay, <laughs> welcome to a video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter Neal. I'm a UK reseller. I buy and sell antiques and collectibles from boot sales. I go around digging in junk boxes to see what I can find, and I've had some wonderful things again today. Stick around. I really hope you enjoy um, some real nice things. I'm going to start off with one of my favorites of the day. Today's a whole video. I'm going to share with you what I bought. Let me know what you think. Feel free to comment and uh, give your opinions. So we're going to start off with this absolutely just gorgeous, beautiful, fine cut crystal with a sterling silver top, fully hallmarked. And it is hallmarked from 1917 Sheffield. And the maker's mark, if you bear with me a second, was... Lee and Henry Wigfall. There's a name in it. Lee and Henry Wigfall. I open the top up and it still has its original stopper in good condition. So 1917. I didn't realize people were actually producing things like this at that time. Um, you know, with the World War and all that going on. But this is a big example. Well, takes two hands to go around these up butte um i purchased this along with this which is a sterling silver 1937 by 80 brothers toast track now i can tell you i sell all my silver on at about a pound a gram unless it's somebody really really good like jensen or something like that but my standard antique silver or collectible silver goes out about a pound a gram that's 40 grams. So I'll be asking 40 pounds for that horse rack. And it's in good condition. I only paid 50 pounds for the both. So I paid around 70 dollars for the two pieces. That's going out for a hundred, maybe even 125 on the website. It is spectacular, it is beautiful, and they do not turn up anymore. You just don't see them this quality. And when you do, you certainly don't buy that and that for 50 pounds. So that's a cracking start to my day. And I mean cracking, beautiful. Then I purchased this. I haven't actually dated this one. But we have a sterling silver picture frame with sort of cherubs on either side by William Cummins. Massively known name, massive, massive name. Now I've paid £40 for this. It is fully hallmarked just down here. I don't know whether you can see them, but they um, full set of hallmarks. I should have dated a few, but I didn't. Um, there's a bit dirty. He needs a bit of a clean to read them tidy. But you can clearly make out William Cummins. Now, I paid £40 for this one. Um, and I'd like to think I'm going to see about £95, £85, £95 for a beautiful piece of William Cummins silver like that. So... I don't know what the weight is. Out of curiosity, if I pop the glass out on the back out. Well, there's a fine example, because just the weight of this one, just the frame, is 35 grams. So, and I'm going to be asking probably 95 on this one to take an offer. It's a little dirty on the back. I'll probably try and clean it up as best I can. Um, but a real nice antique solid silver or sterling silver picture frame by william cummins i should have cheaper on 85 95 pound i would like to think these i purchased in for scrap i'm not going to bother date them um first i had this little pepperette uh, it's got a couple of little dents on a year and there nothing major but there's a full set of hallmarks on that one and then I had this one, which is a nice early salt, fully hallmarked, and it's lost a leg. So, now I paid £15 for those, and they weigh in at 55 grams. So £15, so what's that work out as? 15 divided by 55, 27 pence a gram for sterling silver. It'll go straight in my pot sterling now is about 40 pence 45 pence a gram something like that so there's a good profit on there i'm happy with that 
I've had more bits of silver, but your jewellery I'll share with you in a few minutes. I want to share a bit of glassware. Now, I always buy my glasses, you know. Look at the size of that. Brandy glass vase. Well, that gives you a little clue of what I paid for. I didn't pay that. I paid £4 for it. This is mid-century Italian Empoli. You can see this ripple, the lines, the ripple lines coming down. Beautiful. Finished around the top. Real nice piece. This is like 15 inches tall. It's huge. I've just got my measuring tape out to measure it. And it's 15 inches tall. Or a fraction under 15 inches tall. So it really is quite something. Now, I've had plenty of these, you know, around sort of that height. Never had one like this, this big. I've had the slim ones when they're tall, but never this big brandy ones. Four pound. It should be somewhere around 30, 40 pound, no problem at all. For, and it's got a beautiful, like you can't see it in the um, video, I don't think. But this beautiful amethyst purple colour. Uh, when this was on the table in the sunlight, God, it looked amazing. So, yeah, really pleased with that for a nice big piece of empoli. Then I had this one, which is 1970s empoli again, so Italian again. Uh, but this is the pressed glass textured uh, vase in amber, stamped on the base made in Italy, and a nice pattern. Now, I actually found this one on the 20th Century Factory Glass website. And they sold it for £43. So £40, £45 comfortably. It cost me a tenner. So it cost me about $13.5. You know, nothing wrong with that. The £4 for the Empoli vase is about $5.5. Really, really cheap. Um, so my tenner here is going to go into about £40, £45. And it's in perfect condition, as is the other glass. This next one. I'm not 100% on who this is yet, whether it's a Swedish one or whether it's Ingrid glass. I'm not sure. Um, beautiful, rich amber colour. Nice. This is called a hooped vase. Now, when you look at the top, you can see that there. It put a couple of people off at the boot sale and allowed me to get it for a pound. I've had it under an eyeglass. It is not a chip. It's just a dent in the glass. It is not a chip. Um, I've had it under my jeweler's loop and it is 100% not a chip. So I'm really pleased with that. It was a pound because they thought that was a chip. A pound. Um, it's not going to be four tunes. It's going to be around 20 pounds, something like that. But for a pound into 20. You put a pound in the bank and in 10 years time, you might have one pound, three pence. <laughs> um... This one may end up being a Christmas present for someone uh, not 100% sure yet. Uh, we have a bit of Swarovski crystal. And if I give you a little look at the back, it gives you a clue. It is a rocking horse. Beautiful little thing in this box. Don't think it's ever been out of this box, but uh, I don't want to drop in. Take it out. Look at that. Swarovski crystal. Absolutely stunning. Rocking horse. Mixture of the crystal and a bit of metal wear. Uh, it has got the Swarovski swan underneath. So it's the later, not the early ones. The earlier stuff's got a block S for Swarovski. But uh, beautiful. Cost me a fiver. But I would think if I was putting it up for sale, it's £20, £25, no problem at all for a Swarovski rocking horse. But as I've said, that one may end up being somebody's Christmas present yet. I don't know. Beautiful thing, though. Swarovski is a name I always buy. And I had a set of this. Royal Dalton Crystal, handmade in England. And I have a set of... Let me turn them out. Four napkin rings. Now, I don't think they've ever been used because they still got their stickers on them. So you've got four crystal napkin rings by Roald Dalton. I'll give them a little wipe over. Um, they cost me £2, so not even $3. And 
Well, they're worth 10 or 15 pounds for a set of napkin rings in the box. You know, on the Swarovski at the fibers, like seven, seven and a half dollars. You know, it's really cheap. Where do I go next? I got stuff everywhere. <laughs> it's been a busy, busy uh, few days of buying, I tell you. This is a little Osprey's ball, probably out of their souvenir shop. However, it has seven signatures on there. So you can see the two there. Uh, there's another two there. And there's the others. Bear with. She did show me there were seven signatures on here this morning, but some of them are hard to find. So you've got one, two, three, four. I can't find them on there. Well, there's four. I can find them in there already. But uh, she did tell me there were seven on there. And she did point them out. I just didn't pay any attention. So we have a signed uh, Osprey's uh, souvenir ball. I don't know the age. I'm not a big sports fan. It's not that old because it's got the barcode on it. But they've been going, I think, since the 80s or something like that. But anyway, three pounds, five dollars. For a signed Ospreys ball. So there's going to be a few Ospreys fans out there who are going to want this. Should be £20, £25 for the uh, signatures, shouldn't it? I would think. Look nice in a little case in a barber shop or something like that. This is stunning. Now, I purchased this off a friend and I've paid good money for it. It's a, about 55, 56 grams of nine carat rolled gold. It's one fifth nine carat. Um, now this is etched. This is at least double what you normally find. You normally find them they're about that, that wide. This is massive. It's a monster um, in comparison. I normally achieve 30, 40 pound for the narrow bangles. I've never had one this big, this fat and this heavy uh, and in this good condition. So, I don't want my big hands, but uh, yeah, fully stamped up. Nine, one fifth, nine carat, roll gold. Beautiful thing. No, I paid him £35 for it. Um, however, roll gold is worth buying, even if it's broken. I'm putting it in a box because the smelters are now buying roll gold, same as they buy gold, just at the lower price. Um, my smelter up in Birmingham has offered to take this stuff off me by the kilo, melt it down, and then pay me um, for whatever gold comes out minus his commission. So, but this one, I think, should be somewhere around 70, 75 pound, comfortably, maybe more. Such a beautiful thing, so I'm really pleased with that. I had a haul the other day where one of the antique dealers or house clearance people I know in Cardiff um, cleared um, an antique shop. Cleared an antique dealer's uh, stuff anyway. And there was a couple of pieces I forgot to put in the video. So we have this first, which is a yellow metal, possibly gold, haven't tested it yet, and possibly roll gold, with a little bit of onyx or carnelian maybe in the top, and not sure. And it is a pencil holder. So that doesn't owe me anything because it came in with the £120 I purchased the other day um, haul, which was absolutely amazing. Really, really amazing. And I had this little, beautiful little um, pen knife, pocket knife, pen knife, whatever you want to call them. It's a sweet little thing, actually. Um, and you know it's going to make us milk. Bear with. <laughs> it's going to make us mark of Harrods. <laughs> so I got a beautiful antique uh, pen knife from Harrods. Well, I'll have to look that up for price. I can't guesstimate that. I was going to say it's like 10 or 15 pounds for such a beautiful sweet pen knife, but uh, with the Harrods name on it, it may be uh, quite a collectible little thing. 
I've had little bits of silver, so I'm going to show you three little pieces of jewellery now. First of all, we have this almost slab of cheese. It's the only way I can say it. It's like a slice of cheese. Uh, but it is fully stamped up 925 on the back. Little pendant. So I had that. I had this, which is just, a, again, just a curved bit of... Um, silver but again it is fully stamped there and i had this which is fully stamped up and i'm not sure if it's a bit of like a uh, lucite it's got all the flowers encased in lucite so we have a sterling silver and lucite heart pendant um silver chain silver around the edge of the pendant uh those three pieces cost me a fiver for the three which is about seven dollars i purchased job lot of four or five pieces down in um splot of jewelry um, only two of them turned out to be silver. I paid a tenner for the lot of it. And if we say I'll get a pound or two back each for the others, these owe me about six pounds for the pay. So first of all, it is that one. So let's say it owes me three, maybe four pounds. Fully stamped up cubic zirconia and sterling silver. So beautiful little ring. Should be. 10 or 15 pound no problem at all for a nice silver ring like that online then we got this massive thing here wouldn't that be nice if i was a diamond but uh well i'd be a millionaire it's huge uh 925 again little silver ring again um so let's say about six pounds seven pounds so they owe me about ten dollars for the two silver rings i've had some silver coins but they're not worth really mentioning. They're just going in the scrap. But in amongst them, I purchased this. Upside down. It's got the ship on that side. And on this side is Hill & Co. Cloth, clothers and outfitters, exporters to the world um, from Sunderland. And they, they were, I, I have looked, and they were established in 1825, that company. But how sweet is that? It's got a ship on the back because they owned their own ship for exporting. Um, a little antique token. Um, it's probably about 1825, 1830, somewhere around there. It's not going to be worth fortunes. But it's going to probably be worth 10 or 20 pounds. Really nice token. That came in with the silver coins. I just want to show you the silver coins. Um, I had a silver half crown, but it's 500 grade. It's 1946. Has to be um, before 19... Oh, hang on. I can't think now. I think it's 1926 and under. No. Sure, I can't remember. Is it 1921? I can't remember. It's been that long. Um, so, uh, I think it's can't get it up yeah right so and 1921 to 1946 is 500 grade under 1921 so 1920 and under is full or sterling grade been a while since i've been buying coins so i got lots of little coins little threepences and things like that um they're all just going to go in the scrap pot they're all worn all got holes um they only come in for a couple of pounds from all And this one was almost heartbreaking. We got a really, really nice 
1845, America large one cent. However, it's been drilled. If it hadn't been drilled in the condition this one is in, it'd have been a 40 or 50 pound coin. With the hole being drilled, it's like a 10 or 15 pound coin. But again, it come in for next to nothing with the others. So I'm not too concerned about that. This one was pretty much gifted to me. It was given to me for 50 pence. And we have a porcelain. So early 20th century, probably German porcelain. It's got some numbers on the back down here, uh, which are 1571, I believe. So we have a little German porcelain lady. And this would be a pin cushion. Yes, on the front it says foreign. Uh, normally that means German. Um, so you'd have something on the bottom here for like a pin cushion. So we've got a little half doll, porcelain half doll. That was 50 pence. And they range sort of from 5, 10 pound all the way up to 100 pound, depending on rarity. I don't think it's that rare. But 50p, it was okay. Uh, what are we at? I think that might be all I want to put in today's video. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I think that's all I'm going to put into this video. I've gone through my little uh, pile here, so I don't know what you think. My favourite has to be the big globe crystal and sterling silver perfume bottle. I'm absolutely in love with it. But there is some nice collectibles and antiques. The William Cummins picture frame is going to fly out. So, hope you've enjoyed. Please feel free to comment, uh, give your opinions, anything else. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.